guys, Brad Duct Tape Panel here with another uh, Airsoft unboxing. This time we got another Resident Evil style gun to unbox. Uh, this is one of the newer ones out there, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go for it. We tried getting the Biohazard, uh, you know, mystery box, but we weren't able to. But we were able to get this, and this was one of the guns that was in it. Uh, this is one of the rarer ones to get. And from a lot of my airsoft friends said this is some of their favorites to play with. So, I'll go ahead and pull this out. And this is an officially licensed, as they say, Umbrella Corporation airsoft gun. guy in the box looks like Wesker for a second. Yeah, I mean, this is the, that's the whole shtick for this gun, is it's an officially licensed, made by the Umbrella Company. So this is the uh, Umbrella M4 that they have out. That is, uh, if you can see a little bit closer, actually laser cut with the Umbrella logo on the side. Yep, right there. Has a uh, nice 200 round mid cap mag fits in there just perfectly. That's not why you have to crank, right? No, mid caps are load as is. Nice, very lightweight. This is just over about 2,500 grams. Comes with your normal cleaning rod. No scope with it. A Little bit of rounds. We're gonna set this on the side. Very decent. Single, what was it? Safety, semi, full auto. There we go. Charging rod where the Normal hop up is normal Sight. up sights. Not too bad. Not too bad of a gun. Very firm. Magazine doesn't vibrate at all. Because some of them you get, that's all oh, that just clicks in there. That clicks in there. Nice. I wonder if this works with a 5,000 round capacity. Now, the side rails here, very nice. They don't have the pre, they're, they're set. You can put a Picatinny rail on it, but they don't. They've got a top rail for a sight or a laser. Um, adjustable on the back or whatnot. Very firm in that. The information for this is as following. It's made by Helios. The FPS is 310 to 350, depending on the rounds you use. This gun fires 17 rounds a second. It has a 200 round mid cap and it takes a 7.4 lipo battery this is definitely going to be fun for this i'm going to be using this uh for when i work on my carlos cosplay because it is technically an official umbrella rifle and yes i know carlos has the picatinis on the side uh, i love the front set on here it's very very smooth very clean it just looks solid it is very solid because there's been a couple ones we found at some of the airsoft shops it's a little bit more compact it's nice, it fits me well. Um, you've got the back sling. I don't see the front, but we'll go ahead. Yeah, this is not too bad. I like this. I was kind of a little uh, leery, a little curious on it uh, for some of the official ones. I mean, I know it's not anything fancy and it's not like an official video game one, but it is a nice one that they did release for the Umbrella series. So guys, uh, if you're interested in go checking it out, go for it because of the lockdown. We can't show any test videos of it at this point. We would love to once it goes on out here. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely go check this stuff on out. We're going to try and get the uh, Gold Series uh, Samurai Edge. And we're also going to start trying to do what I call the Airsoft Guns of Resident Evil, where we start showing firearms from the Resident Evil game in actual Airsoft form to show you guys how well they perform. So if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and remember, like always, be like duct tape. Stick to it. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. That's a good weapon.